Hello, and welcome back to 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die, here with Quino. Again. In my garden, Again. On, on a sunny October day, which is bizarre, sitting out here in, my, in a t-shirt. Odd. My dog is fuffing about somewhere, trying to eat a, eat a rose. Um, I might bring her up in a minute, or maybe not. Go away. Um, this beer is from the Czech Republic. First brewed 2005. It is 5.2, and it is 5.2 in the bottle. And it is... Uh, I'm not going to say the, bre- the brewery name because it's too hard to pronounce. So it's, it's <laughs> called Old Got. Old Got. Old Got. Old Old Got. It looks like that and it's got a flip top. Ud. So would you like oh, to nice pour it, no, it for us? I've no idea if it's bottle conditioned or not. Uh, um, there's little in the way of English on the bottle. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to guess it might well be given it's got a little stopper on the top. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, the tasting notes, tawny and coppery like the kettles in which it is produced. It presents remarkable... Ooh! Way! Way! Explosion! It's <laughs> always exciting, isn't it? Oh, dearie, that's a, li- that's oh, a lively little no. beast. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Oh, well, the, the dog will have a portion anyway. Yeah, it presents remarkable toffee and caramel notes with an almost waxy mouthfeel, followed by a peppery aromatic finish. Wow, that's... That's the most exciting well. <laughs> beer open we've had in a long time. Something got shaken up in the bag on the way back last night, didn't it? Um, no, I didn't bring it back in the bag last night. Oh, had, it's been in my house, for, you know. Oh, is it really? Quite, quite a long time upright. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been upright as well. I, it just must have just had lots of carbonation in it. Flipping heck. I'll leave a little bit in the bottom now. Yeah, sure just in case. Or not. Gosh. Okay. Wow, that was um, uh, explosive. Okay, we'll deal with that afterwards. Um, <laughs> should we talk about the bottle? Um... It's got some sort of gentleman there. It's got Hercule vibes. Uh, and then on the other side, it's got animals chained up to a tree. Oh, it has? Yeah, not they, quite they, sure they, what's they, going on they, there. They, they, like, I don't know what they are. Well, they're not bears. Are they cats Dogs? or something? Dogs? Who knows? Know. Who knows? But it's... Uh, and then some sort of 3D writing down here, or just badly printed? <laughs> badly printed, I think. Down there. Uh, the offset setting's gone wrong. Uh... And not much else to say, really, other than old got barique, and then everything else is in check. Oh, there is on the side. Um, so on the side ah, it says, yeah, made in of English. water, barley malt, and yeast, according to partially preserved prescription of the brewery that was at this place 500 years ago. Oh. So I presume it's um, aping aping an old recipe that they found. Right. Okay. So, this is very orange. Oh, it's a very sort of deep orangey colour, yeah, isn't it? Very... Yes. I think um, it should be slightly clearer than that. It obviously, it exploded. Fizz, fizzed and you up. Had, fizz, and you had to deal with it. Fizzed as... up the bottom a bit, unfortunately. So um, it yeah, it's, it it's um, fairly opaque, and there's a few little monsters at the bottom of mine. But um, it's all right. Smell. Oh, is it the, ca- the camera's waft. That is a very odd smell. Well, I'll tell you what that is, sir. But that's that's wood. That's the, that's the yeah, that stuff. is the wood. Yeah. So the thing with this one is that it is what was it? It says Age, it, is it, is it was it um, tiny, conditioned in wood? Yeah, tiny brew pub uses wooden barrels for fermentation and conditioning. Yeah. Um, so and think, it uses a copper pan for cooling the wort. So I think yeah, that's this is this is old school. Yeah, sort of wood and the maybe the copper is infused into that. Yeah, it smells. It smells a bit like a couple of Belgian beers we had on our trip many, mm. many years ago now. Oh, God, we're getting old. COVID. Should we go for the taste? Cheers. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. It's a bit sour. Yeah. Do you think it's off? I don't know. Well, this is the joy, isn't it? I don't know what it's meant. I don't know what it's meant to taste like. Yeah. It tastes... Should... Like exploding sherbet. It's not actually unpleasant, but I'm not sure it's supposed to taste like this. It's a, given it, it's an amber lager. Yeah, but it's not unpleasant. I don't know. What do you think? Or do you think that's just the oak taste that's been? Well, it's like I said. It's not. It's not unpleasant. It's massively different to what we were expecting. Yes. However, again, wheeling back to Belgium, we had a couple of beers in Ghent that didn't taste a million miles away from this, but the av- but they were advertised as tasting of essentially, well, 
it does actually taste of copper and tannin so it could it could well be partially I, don't, I, mm. really don't, I really don't know I don't know what to make of this at all interesting it smells absolutely fine yes the fact that um, it massively exploded on the opening mm. interesting so I, I, I wouldn't like to say well it's fine so what, so what no, let's try and dig a little deeper what have we got here spicy sherbet slightly metallic tannin yeah that's basically it yeah it isn't like it says it's going to be and this isn't how I expect it to be um, but maybe this is how it's supposed to be I don't know as I say it's not unpleasant whether it's an off whether this is an off flavour and this has gone a bit dodge I don't know but have, I we, got, have we got any dates on this uh, well, I don't know whether it's got a date that says tenth uh, of the third twenty-two. I don't know whether that means used by uh, Minimani Tranvloshed. But that's not even if it was used but by. That's not very. That's not very. No, it's not that long ago. That's not it? enough it's, for it to do. Well, it's five two, so it would have kept. It would have just been not as effervescent. No, potentially after that date. Very odd. We don't know them. Who knows? Who knows whether this beer is supposed to taste like this or not? But it's still not unpleasant. It's intriguing. Hmm. Old got. Intriguingly. Intriguing. It does say it's a complex lager. It's and not a lager though, is it? Well, if it well, what we what we got here doesn't taste like a lager to me. It tastes like a sour. It tastes like an old, a, a, an old, a bit of an old ale, soured old ale, an mm. old ale that's been kept in wood. That's what it. Again, I still think sort of going back to Belgium, we had a couple that were. I think it's still to got this. the wood taste. I get mm. the wood taste. Maybe mm. that. Maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. Oh well. Well, we'll just leave it there and, and it'll we'll be a mystery. Some, we'll have to do some research on yeah, this Yeah, see whether we'll it's supposed to, supposed to taste like this or not. We'll look at some untapped uh, reviews and see what people say about it. So like, comment, subscribe and see you for another beer review at some point. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>